we see a scatter plot, and this is data set B, which consists of the height of young trees at various ages in X months. We have the, equa uh, the equation of best fit right here, uh, where our X is between 10 and 30. The tree was measured again at 40 months, so right here, and at a height of 144 centimeters. So we have another data point here. It's looking like right here. Uh, the first thing I would note, uh, like I would pause here and realize, well, if our line originally looks something like this, right, we would be expecting trajectory like that. But we have a huge drop off. And I guess it makes sense, like as the trees get older, they grow less and less, right? So it looks like our slope significantly decreased to have to reach this point, right? So data set C consists of all the points that we had, as well as this new data point. The equation of the line of best fit for our new data set C can be written as this, where our x values are now going to go all the way up to 40. Assuming the equations of the lines for best fit are calculated in the same way, which of the following is the best estimate for the value of s? So our, if it was the y-intercept they wanted, we'd probably have to plug all this in and calculate because that's kind of tricky. Um, but they do just want our slope, and we already know right off the bat that our slope is decreasing, right? I, if you want, you can plug these five points in with our new point, calculate your slope. It wouldn't take that long, but I think we have a good enough estimate here. If this was our traje trajectory originally, and we now have to go way lower to hit this new point, we know our slope is, is going to be significantly smaller. So if our slope for the first five points was this, well, it's not going to get bigger. It's not going to get a little bit bigger. And this is where it starts to get tricky, where you could calculate it if you want. I also think the college board would be a little bit nicer than this. I personally made it harder on purpose. But a 0.2 decrease is just not going to be enough to go all the way from this down to here. You're going to need a substantial decrease to reach this point. So it is automatically going to be D here. But again, feel free, if you're uncomfortable with these two answers, you can plot all six of these points in a table, and you still will get 4.27 as your slope.